Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. What's going on everybody? All right, it's time for another one of my fun time. Pick a card, pick a card, pick a car. Just pick something already. Readings. Um, I appreciate you for being here and being a part of this. And if you would love that like, hit the subscribe, set the bell to all notifications. I go live every Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces. And check out my playlists for your monthly readings, pick a card readings, and some healing music with some cool bass covers. Just feel free to check out Snoop and Page of Swords all over the channel if you want. I don't mind. It's what it's here for. And you can just like search for Archer Astrology on TikTok and Instagram and like, there we're oh, and uh, find me. Okay. So the way my pick a cards pick of cards work is you have three vehicles to choose from so first off if you haven't already done so pick your chariot if you're going to go with the batmobile pile one card deck one will be the os which one is this the urban tarot deck all right we're going to do the urban tarot deck and then if you pick the white jeep deck number two will be the bubba Boy deck here with the starred man tarot and if you pick the Knight Industries 2000 kit, boom, you get the Asa Gypsy Tarot. So I'll give you a few moments here to pick out your card and see which deck you want to go with if you haven't done so already. Take your time until I stop singing. I'm kidding. That's enough. You should have already picked. All right. So now... What we're going to do is exhibit what spirit does when we decide to two of wands, free will, all over their divine plans that are in place. Even though they know we're going to do it, they still always have to have fail safes in place. So we are going to insert Archer's very own tower card, Eight of Swords Interference, and make sure these are where they belong. Let spirit put the vehicles with which decks they go to. Okay, so we are going to put our solo cup tower cards over the chariots boom all right and now we're gonna do this again i said no peeking batman no peeking kit no peeking you guys are like eager beavers today okay we're still gonna do this though this is like when you have to have like more Eight of Swords moments or more little tower cards because Spirit's like, yeah, they're not good, they're not all along. Just kidding. Okay, that's probably enough. I, let's just do that. Okay, we, we got everybody sorted out. Everybody calmed down. You know, everybody got some Jupiter retrograding in Taurus coming in with the assist. The Batmobile and the kit didn't keep popping out. Notice the white Jeep was pretty cool though. Okay. So, anyhow, let's take a look. So what we're going to do, I think is going to be what happened why are they still on my mind okay we'll let uh, jupiter in retrograding and taurus come in for the assist much like it is going to be doing for venus and mercury and all the other planets coming in to lend a helping hand to help get this stuff balanced out stabilized and grounded okay so now the urban tarot deck deck number one is still the batmobile boom that's stable and it's intuition trusted almost like the batmobile was saying you didn't even need to do this archer all right cool next up the buoy deck becomes kit oh there was a flip-flop crisscross applesauce that means the acid gypsy tarot is now the white jeep so with that figured and sorted out now that you guys are back on pitch supposed to be on unless you just watch the whole thing and see what happens we are going to find out for each y'alls the batmobile kit and the white jeep why are they still on my mind okay so let's do it do it we are going to start off with the Batmobile. Hi, Batmobile. What up? Let's go. Now, these decks have already been pre-shuffled before I started the reading, but we're still going to pop a little shuffles in here while you watch so that you connect to the deck and the energy. Okay? All right. So, for the Batmobile, let's see what's going on. Why are they still on their minds? And this is going to go in two ways, two different directions. So, either why are they still on your mind, or why are you still on their mind? Okay, we're gonna see which way this one goes. Here we go. All right, for the Batmobile, what have we got for the Batmobile? September, Virgo season, Jupiter going retrograde, Venus direct, Mercury retrograde. All that fun stuff's going on. 
Uranus and Saturn influence still happening. There's tons, there's tons of stuff. All right, Batmobile, what have we got going on? Here we go. Three reasons why we're still in each other's energies. Take it and do with it what you will. And of course, only highest and greatest good. That goes without saying here. All right, two shuffles for Bat for the Batman. Stop it. All right, two shuffles for the Batmobile. Here we go. <clears throat> One and two. Nice. Let's love this deck for the Batmobile. All right. <laughs> if it was a card, I'm Batman. Shows up. Aries energy here with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck here. Working on Ace of Swords, working on assessing yourself, the situation, Six of Swords, and the relationship, Knight of Swords. Getting ready to swoop in for some action, though. All right, give me nine cards. Let's roll. Then we'll pull some clarifiers, too, just because of what we do. Seven of Cups to the Four of Cups to the Ace of Cups. Cancer Scorpio energy here. You're assessing both yourself and this relationship because out of all the things you've tried and done, it's had its ups and it's had its downs. Both Cancer energy and Scorpio as well. All right. Two of Swords, to the Three of Pentacles, to the Lovers, Gemini Energy. First Major Arcana on the table. So Gemini influence on this, Cancer Scorpio, along with Aries and uh, Capricorn. So that's a lot of Cardinal Energy going on too. Neat. All right, so you're reflecting on this here and trying to assess all the issues of the relationship because deep down inside you want to take a chance and make it work. Angel number 23 could mean something too. Bottom of the deck still the Emperor. Aries energy right out of the gate, too. Sorry, I forgot about that one. That's the bottom of the deck. But so Aries and Gemini, heavy duty on this one. To the Five of Swords, to the Knight of Cups, and the Prince of Wands. Interesting. Okay. So you've got Leo, Cancer, and we've even got a little bit of Aquarius coming in off of this side here. Okay, so energies are hitting from different perspectives on this one. It's feeling like you jumped timelines with this Knight of Cups here, this Cancer Energy that bought the suit the same time I did. And uh, then the, the Knight of Wands here, the Prince of Wands, is like looking into this and talking, interviewing, asking people. It's like you've jumped timelines and energies have changed, Gemini Energy. All right, give me clarifiers on this first row. Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, Eight of Cups. That is straight up water, straight up emotion. So you are very aware of like what you did and like what they did and where they went with it. All right, let's go. On the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords, yeah. Up in your feels on it, too. Transmitting and receiving as my nose starts to itch a little bit. So you're aware of what you did, and you're coming to a point in this that you want to fix it with the Hermit. Virgo energy. This is what I'm pulling as a right now energy card, that this is the way you're feeling about the situation right now. Virgo energy. And the Prince of Swords. Oh, the Spy, the Hacker, the Hardison card shows up with Orange Soda, chilling knocking down bad guys and lucille on this one so it's like does it always seem like these random strangers that are talking to you or talking about you each day like like spying on you and it has you worried five of pentacles it has you worried that like this is like you're like in a store or you're like in line for your coffee and you're thinking about something and somebody that you don't even know that's in line or in the other part of the store blurts out oh yeah sally said well and you're like I don't even know you. How did that happen? This is kind of like spirit throwing subtle answers your way in the words that people say that judgment is is like at hand, that, that you kind of know the direction to go intuitively. Um, mutable energy on that one too. And so like all these little small signs shows that's bringing you guys together. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is working on that two of swords to bring in some peace and to try to take a chance at something. Spirit is is throwing these small little ace of swords things your way. And like especially if you hear somebody mention their name, then like spirit really wants to get your attention. And that's the tie of communication that comes in as that wheel continues to turn. Mutable. 8-8 eight, eight could be a connection. The Lionsgate portal might have shown on. And what what that wasn't anything fancy. I bumped it with my hand. All right, but we were saying like the 8-8, eight, eight, the Lionsgate portal, why are they still on my mind? There's your 8-8 eight, eight coming in right there, Batmobile. So that's giving you an idea on, on where it's at or where it is. Maybe you've been experiencing sinus headaches. My nose is itching. Maybe like not sleeping that well. And it's like starting to get like headaches in the mornings and that 10 of pentacles. Yep, that must be what it is. I'm pulling on a Batmobile that has like had a rough time sleeping and like, like turning off your mind, 10 of pentacles, because you're focused on the outcome, four of swords. 
literally like confirmation basically this is the having a hard time sleeping and not getting into their dreams too much energy here so it's like you should because you're having a hard time getting to it but you 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 want that love that you've been working to manifest and what you manifest manifests you high priestess i'm actually pulling cancer pisces on this i did not pull virgo energy i know in virgo season but something about the dreams led me to go to standard traditional um right or wait on this where it's cancer and pisces energy that your dreams are intuitively speaking to you more which might even resolve towards the headache and like reflecting back on all these little details you might even be having more dreams about the little details with the hierophant taurus energy that literally like a whole level a different level plane of thinking or thought on that one as your dreams start remembering little instances that like oh wow that was something or that was a little different maybe i should have done that one better so you're putting a lot of effort and energy into this on this four of swords because this ten of pentacles virgo sagittarius energy is communicating to you right now in the energy so it could even have you a little more um on point your intuition dialed up or, or even feeling it more cancer pisces energy where your dreams start to speak to you about this there's positivity there but like you feel like it's always eluded you so you might even be a little nervous about it coming in so let's go on for more with that give me on that bottom row there, that two of swords five of pentacles and the lovers very worried about making a choice because um going back further um originally the lovers card was about was called the choice it was about decision or choice almost like another thinking about a fork in the road as opposed to that that d point because once you do that's like love that goes a distance here so it's like you want to start feeling more vibrant and complete like you feel like a weight being lifted off your shoulders like and you might be even into like the aromatherapy where i'm pulling on a batmobile that's like going to a car wash and getting a wax and it no in human terms i'm actually talking about like baths with the candles and stuff like that where you just take a little okay maybe the batmobile wants car wash where you take that time because you feel relaxed and, and, and grounded out. The sun moving into Virgo caused that to happen near the end of August. It just took a long time for all the energy to dissipate as it led into that moon, the full moon, which only happened once in a blue moon. And that energy is going to last for a few days where you can continue to manifest with that hierophant energy. You have a vision to go forward with on this one. And I'm told to tell you not to focus on just the goals, but on every little detail every little intricate part that to make sure you get it right like plan it out like a reverse engineering in a sense where you're working backwards seven of swords like you know the outcome and then you have to achieve how to get there you know you want um an addition on your home or you know you want a bigger apartment and so it's like well okay in order to do that i have to first have this much income or i have to make sure i have this or if you're doing the home well okay i'm going to need wood and i'm going to need concrete and i'm going to need this and so it's like it's like reverse engineering to get to the outcome that you want seven of swords so it's really in your fields to keep things real but the outcome is, is completion with the world 21 the end of the deck and the energy that rates all the way to completion so it's like really check every detail make sure you get into touch on this one because you've experienced so much in the past that it can put you into that five of pentacles worry that's anchored down here nope that's three of pentacles five of pentacles was up here but it's telling you not to worry on it as you start to ground out and it, it won't repeat that cycle because you've cleared it out with the empress at the bottom of the deck so we're tuned into this one you've already paid off and passed tests to clear out generational wealth ten of swords 10 10 could be another number on top of the 8 8 and there's a 10 of cups underneath that six of swords that if you work on it you get to that point that you've got something to manifest in you've paid off all that and you've learned your worth you know your value and yeah you feel it especially right now all the retrograde energies is causing a lot of that deja vu into reflection and it's taken the venus retrograde energy with the leo energy and taking it and going okay well now that's what your heart desires so show me the math six of swords to the ten of swords how's the working how do we get to that ten of cups and that's where it's going to put you into and with the wheel of fortune you did clear the way on this one spirit will continue to insert those tower moments sag energy little cancer on the side with the chariot that spirit kind of guides it and and has an outcome projected and planned like a roller coaster it's designed by an engineer to make you feel all the emotions you feel as it completes its cycle but even when you're in that horror moment it's terrifying going over the top that oh my god we're gonna die then it's like oh it's been engineered for safety and i'm still gonna wind up taking a really goofy looking picture at the end that i look at and decide i don't want to buy because i don't want any of my friends to ever see that photograph and then you just walk away from it but it's all planned out it's all engineered and guided spirit had this three of pentacles plan going on and you knew it and saw it coming and it's the direction to take it to so the feeling and the intuition will start to level up a bit with six of swords coming back from the bottom of the deck 
that casts justice onto this one with the Libra energy. So as you go through September into Libra season, that's where the passion reignites and the happiness comes your way. Ace of Wands to the Three of Cups. So when you put that all onto this with the Queen of Wands, Leo energy showing the third time's the charm. And there's your intuition dialing up with the Seer card. Maybe you're even a little more checking out tarot, checking out ASMR, looking into frequencies, even just straight up astrology to see how it goes. And for some reason, I was pulled to the Knight of Pentacles and the Devil. It's taken a long time, and you focused on it for a long time. So patience is indeed a virtue on this one, and it is incoming. You, you kind of know and see all those. Shh, don't tell anyone. All right, appreciate you, Batmobile, if this resonated in any way. Um, love that like for me, and leave a comment down below. Let me know who you're dealing with, what you're dealing with, and what's going on. I appreciate you for being here, too. All right, thanks. <clears throat> now, next up, we will do the Night Industries 2000. On over there. All right, if you picked Kit and Spirit then put you onto your course to the Baba deck, or maybe... The Batmobile deck already resonated. Maybe the Jeep deck will resonate. This brings us to the Night Industries 2000. My energetical chariot, too. It's it's the molecular mind and crab shell, right? It's the car. Chicks take the car. All right. Ten of Pentacles. That was over in the Batmobile reading. Interesting. So there could already be something. Because like I mentioned, I pre-shuffled these before I started. And Ace of Swords. Mm, I'm on point. So with the Three of Cups, that was over there, too. Three Threes already connecting master number. Or maybe someone who's watching multiple placements. Mm. So, but we're still going to do a little shuffle to connect to your energy while you're here and see where this one goes, okay? We're going to try to, you know, we're going to tune it. going to get a little deep and see what is up for Kit for the Night Industries 2000. Why? Are they still on Kit's mind, in Kit's processing, in the database, in the central processing unit, and the dominant programming? What's going on? Who's looking at who? Who's watching who? All right, let's see what's happening as we cruise into September and Jupiter goes retrograde in Taurus. Uh, Mercury's retrograde and over in Virgo. So you got a lot of stuff going on. Let's see where it goes. Okay. For Kit. What do we got for Kit? Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands are both back too. Could be a connection. Definitely might want to check out the Batmobile reading when this one's over. Okay, Kit. All right. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Here we go. What do we got for the Night Industries 2000? What do we got for Kit? Bop, Bop, Bowie deck. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, two shuffles, Kit. One, oh, nice, and two. Let's love this deck for the Night Industries 2000. Yeah, chariot. Anyways, moving on. The Six of Swords is back as well. That was also in the Batman reading, so you may want to check that out with the King of Wands for a little Aries energy on top of the Aquarius to get you through because this one here shows something that they did stressing you out, Six of Swords, so much that you had to walk away with the Emperor. That was the energy at the bottom of the deck. So something is connecting to you guys. Let's find out. All right, same thing. Grammy nine cards out here. We're going to clarifiers. Prince of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Fool card, the Zero Hour. That had the World's card that ended its reading. You've got the Fool card. This is like a to-be-continued from the Batmobile that's going forward because that Hierophant, that leveling up energy, something they did stressed you out. And that Prince of Cups shows a block being lifted on this Cancer Taurus in Aries energy. Okay, cool. Bottom of the deck is Six of Swords still. That walking away but looking back to learn. There's the Devil. Remember I mentioned that popped up as I was randomly pulled on the deck to the Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn energy? Yeah, straight up here something they did stressing you out to a point. Maybe they were obsessed a lot. We'll find out. We're definitely going to find out. Ten of Wands, and the Prince of Cups wanted to come with it. So now we've got Cancer Pisces energy along with Sagittarius. So there's a protective shell, and that's a lot of love from the Cancerian side of things, even focusing on house, home, and family. So, like, you've got a block being lifted because this Ten of Wands shows coming to that point. Capricorn, Sagittarius energy, December 20th could be a date, December 19th, or even April 1st I see might ring out. But the... I was led to shuffle, and I'm shuffling upside down. Interesting. Somebody has spin-flipped this one here. So with that block being lifted, something's playing out. Death card. As I flip the deck over, Scorpio shows up to begin a new beginning and see where this might possibly go to. So, like, there's some karmic debt being paid off at the moment, but, like, it's like waiting it all with you, waiting for wanting it all with you. And their words jumble, too. I heard wanting, but said waiting. Prince of Pentacles. But it is kind of a communication. It's just a little immature. It's just a little childish. They do want it all with you. And this communication coming in with that radio wave coming out, even the color yellow may resonate. 
with the Prince of Swords. Somebody needed to level up, and they're talking about it with the Page of Swords. So it, it it's bringing in a communication with some work having been done, because this here bought the online course of how to own a falcon, got their first falcon after they print out a certificate, and got all Woody Woodpeckered up there in the in the chest cavity. And so they had to go back and grab the level two course, and then they learned the falcon a little bit better. So they it's like going back to learn what's needed in order to lift the block and the stresses to go away. Seven of Swords, there's the stresses. That was there too. These things definitely are kind of connected in together. All right, so clarify for me. Prince of Cups, Hierophant, and the Fool card. Because you know there's love there. You know they love you. Okay, so like feeling nervous? Nine Pentacles, that's not nervous. That one Pentacle's missing though that I could see it. And maybe bats resonate. Straight up bats, Batmobile, Batman. There's a freaking bat on the card, man. So it's got to tie over to it, right? Nine of Pentacles. There's an Ace of Pentacles missing, and that's kind of the part that you're stressing out about. You found this true love, Nine Pentacles, knowing there's one Pentacle missing. Eight of Wands means there's something that keeps you guys together to talk about this one here once those deaths get paid off, that the Ace of Pentacles might not be that far away. Queen of Wands, Leo energy. Third time's a charm. So let's see. Queen of Cups. Third time's a friggin' charm. Cancer energy. Could be a Cancer Leo Cusper, but this, this is straight up friggin' unconditional love being in, in each other's powers and like just knowing your worth for each other. It's unconditional. Like no matter what you guys, what y'all been through or want to, like they, it's, it's, it's all forgiven. It, it goes away with that Lionsgate portal that like, Hey, that cycle's gone, man. It's like a reboot, a reprogram. You, your iPhone got forced to do its upgrade queen of cups. You know, the new system software is there. Cancer under the Taurus energy for the eight of swords. This is like pulling almost every card out of the Batmobile reading. And I pulled the yellow and the bat off of that deck for the Eight of Swords. You are kind of in a little bit of analysis paralysis, unsure about this new beginning because of the past blocks. But there is something that's got you feeling like a reunion is close, or as they say in the cards, and showing up right on time is my buddy, the star card, the Aquarius energy of the guiding light that is like up in the eastern sky as it cruises through. Heavy Aquarius. That's like a general all signs right now. It is following the cycle like straight on point. And it's right onto Capricorn. So it could be a Capricorn Aquarius Cusper, Aquarius placements, because I do see Cusper energy, especially like maybe you're a, a Batmo Knight Rider or Mobile, you know? So some energy will tie to both these things together. The brain will perceive nervousness and anxiousness and excitement in almost the same way. So it's hard to tell if you're feeling excited or nervous. Aquarius energy. Um, feeling that it's right or feeling that it's nervous. But I sense more of the anxious side. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you guys work together. Maybe you guys share something. And the 8-8 eight, eight connection is back as well. Again, confirming this is, okay, why are they still on my mind? Why am I still on your mind? 8-8 eight, eight portal. Cleaned out the stuff that had to go bye bye so that you guys could get this together. As we say, the eight Lionsgate portal doesn't make people Marty McFly on the picture just disappear out of a timeline. It gets rid of mindsets, of thought patterns, of processes that gets you to a point. It is source the eight of pentacles. Maybe you guys actually like heal together, you know, as opposed to the whole, oh, we're going off on our own. We're going to heal all on our own. We're not worried about anything else going on. And like, well, okay, well, if we've been through all this stuff, we know what not to do to hurt each other. We know what each other's kind of checks and balances are. And let's see where it goes from there. It's healing together. And actually, you know, the whole It Takes Two, that's an awesome Motown song that comes out onto it. So maybe this music is a connection. You guys might play music together, work together. Um, something about your bond that ties you guys straight up like that. That as you go that way, you you like you felt this coming and felt almost like it was an inevitable situation. Seven of Wands confirming protection, Leo energy. So there's a bubble around you guys that is literally fighting off all the bullets of these wands that are coming around like the bullets that would bounce off a kit's shell or when a bad guy would try to grow up and break into the car chuck a brick at it and the brick would bounce off the glass and like nail him in the head and knock him out you know that sort of a thing it's protection spirits saying yeah it's it's like it's safe to proceed and like um there's someone here it's like some multiple incoming energies going on too but like that maybe is nervous like fearing or feeling that it might wind up the same way chariot energy cancer shows up so yeah, at that point, that's heavy cancer connecting on the bottom side. That is like a connection between you guys. There could be an age difference as well or something to do with some children. The kiddos being involved might be a situation. Even around July, he, um, it shows some time has passed by because this, um, this dude driving the chariot up here with his little bulletproof chariot thing going on down there. He's got a little gray up in the hair up there. So the age difference comes in. Some that ties you guys together shows this is this has gone on for a while and you've known each other for a bit. July being something significant to the both of you with the three of wands. So this even I'm starting to see a cardinal connection. 
as we've got Capricorn, we've got Cancer, and the Three of Wands is a minor arcana of Aries energy. So there's a lot of communication here. Cardinal signs talk, they, they output more, as opposed to the fixed signs, very ground stable, the mutables, the mutables, that was an interesting word, that just can kind of go with the flow. And this is going with that flow, but being able to talk and, and understand each other here. And with this coming in, like you're thinking about something that was said and like they didn't mean it. Chariot energy on the Seven of Wands could be Cancer Leo. That's another confirmation on the Cancer Leo Cusper energy or someone that has those placements or even just July and August being significant points where like there were happy times, there were happy memories. There were good memories and there were memories that you didn't want to like you might have multiple people wanting you i'm seeing on the eight of swords is the transmission reception where you like people are just like like not throw themselves at you but hey you want to do this you want to do that and you're like no thanks i'm, I'm okay you know uh, no worries here because like or, or you might even have tried going out on some dates or dating and been like ah, that's not my person that doesn't they don't check all the boxes start card when you couple that with the the fourth house energy of the house in the home of cancer this here is like that that moment you meet them feeling safe, feeling comfortable, and being able to work together on it because there's a connection that you knew right in the beginning drew you guys together with the moon. The full moon in Pisces and the neon moon. Check out the Kate's Musker's base cover. It's so cool. But yeah, see, there's something that you knew about. You might even have, like, when you first met them, ran home and, like, figured out somehow how to, like, I mean, not, like, in a weird, creepy way. But by the time you had their birth date, that was enough. And then, like, you just went with the city you guys lived in, and you picked noontime and you ran their birth chart just because you were curious about their placements. So maybe even someone I'm talking to here, Kit, that is looking into other placements or looking into all the parts of their chart and seeing how the energies play out, what resonates, what doesn't. So it's bringing in something here that's really stable, and you both have actually been manifesting this and been like, oh, yeah, our chart kind of, I know what I want. Um, I, I'm cool with that. You, I mean, you guys have been going about your day, just no worries about it. And, and just, you know, just focusing on the stability you want to get underneath the moon. What we manifest, manifest ourselves back. And when you check that box and like everyone came around to it on this one, sure, there was trauma drama. Everyone comes with some situations and it's more of taking the time to interact, to heal together. And the one that you're thinking hasn't noticed this because like it's, it's what you put out. It's not the introversion. It's somebody that like wants to be around, wants to be it. You don't want to be the Debbie Downer. No offense, Debbies, if there's any out there, because I love you guys. But it's being be like, okay, I, I get it now. I couldn't get it then, but I get it now. Three of Wands, the timing, right person, wrong time. Five of Swords. Those, those fights will get you a little nervous, make you think a little differently, and it's going to allow you to reflect on the past to get the monkeys off your back. Another weight being lifted. King of Swords, Gemini shows up, along with Libra and Aquarius for an Eight of Cups what i was talking about at 888 could be a number maybe your life path number eight something's different about august being a month for you that you use that to cut out those old mindsets those old karmic cycles those old ways of thinking and and allow yourself to mature to level up to a star card energy and you actually i believe have gotten you did you pulled it off this happened during cancer at last monday's all signs you got all four eights kit good job buddy literally you got the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Yep, that's all of them. I think I got them all. Where's the other one? There's another eight hiding on me, isn't there, guys? Hold on. I'm looking for it. We're not stopping. We are not stopping until I find my other one. I know we had it. Eight Wands, Eight Cups, Eight Swords. It's right here. How much you want to bet? It is somewhere down here anchoring this reading. Guaranteed. Hold on. I know we had it. There it is. It's literally staring me right down, trying to be elusive. See, that's the confusion of looking through the storm to find what you desire and what you manifest. And you pull it off. You got all four eights. That is freaky deaky right there. And see how it became the center of the reading, the eight of pentacles, the work connection and the mindset connection that you guys get and think on similar levels. And it's enough to check all the boxes where it's they love you for your body. They love you for your mind. They love you for your soul and it's it's a deep connection all right so i appreciate you kit i hope that resonated in any way shape or form if it did do let me know leave a like for me and a couple comments let me know who you're dealing with and what you thought about it all right and as i said good job buddy cool all right last but not least <clears throat> pardon me we have the white jeep my real chariot all right so if you pick the white jeep spirit then decided to eat a swords you over to the Austin Gypsy deck. And in case you did not notice here, what we had going on was that um, these decks done crossed and brought themselves around. 
So let's take a look more at what's going on for the white Jeep. If you pick the white Jeep, you may want to check out the kit. You may want to check out the Batmobile. And let me know what you think. So let's see what's going on as a motorcycle goes past. No kit. Dig it. Let's roll with it. Here we go. Ooh, whoa, did you see that? I want to see what that card was. Hang on, I'm getting it. The Hangman, it's Pisces Energy. Ooh, interesting. Okay, and it, it broke at the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands at the bottom. Boom Shakalaka shows up right there. Know thyself and the Empress. Holy crap, someone wants you, dude. Someone wants you, White Jeep. Everybody wants to own a Jeep. Jeep Wave. All right, oh, sorry, driver's seat. Jeep Wave. Let's see what we got for the White Jeep. We got the four of wands. We got the twin show up. The wish being granted. Whoa, somebody makes you feel comfy. And I just felt, I got warm. I just warmed up four of wands to the queen of pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay, so things weren't stable in the past, but you wish them well, white Jeep. All right, let's find out. Is a wish being granted? All right, for the white Jeep, the magician. Mm. That's like, did you hear that? That's that's a that's, that's a Virgo energy. That's a wish being granted. That's using the energies right now to bring in what you want. Two of Pentacles, ready to go. All right, let's see. So things might not have been stable in the past, but that's a big old yes coming in. So let's find out what have we got. Two shuffles for the white sheet. One and two. Let's love this deck for the white sheet. Here we go. Freedom panels. Holy crap, the Ace of Wands is back at the bottom. They freaking straight up want you. I got no way to sugarcoat that one. There is something they like about you. And with the Five of Pentacles, they're not telling you. You guys might not be talking. Maybe we got Casper the Silent Ghost shows up. King of Wands, Aries Energy. Yep, somebody is like, I ain't talking. I ain't saying nothing. I got nothing to do. Emperor, oh my God, heavy Aries Energy shows up. This dude is like down to it right there. Okay, so you guys aren't talking. Somebody's in their way. Things have been stable in the past, but let's see. Give me nine cards. Six pentacles. They want to talk to you with the queen of wands. think this could go the distance. The queen of swords. Pair of queens on the board. Interesting. Either a same sex or a similarity in situations where the feminine embraces their masculine energies and a masculine embraces their feminine energies. That's confidence on either side. Male or female. Looks good. I like that. All right. The strength. We got heavy Leo too showing up on the Queen of Wands for a third time being the charm. That Five of Pentacles with that Ace of Wands means that something here wants to come to a close because they want to talk about this and bring it in. And they're going to find the strength to do it with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. That literally is some swift moving, quick talking energy because they can't let go of their feelings for you here. This is like someone here that wants the family and, and like the holidays and like tried so hard to get things to, to work out in a situation and kept messing things up that they got worried about situations and they're having to find the strength right now because they were more worried about what could be done than what couldn't. And they straight up miss you with this Queen of Wands. That's some fire energy right there. And on the Ace of Wands coupling underneath the deck, how could they not be at that point? It's like something that might have pushed the envelope too far with the death card that shut this situation down to the point where like nobody wanted to hear anybody out and somebody had to walk away from the situation. Sagittarius and Gemini energy. Temperance to the Nine of Swords on that death card. So on that energy, somebody had to find the strength to go forward from something. This with that Queen of Wands to the Queen of Swords. First time one real started the fight. Then he came back. Then somebody else started the other fight. And that one cut right down to the to the quick point where somebody had to walk away to find their balance in the field and the fool. The fuel to motivate them forward. Here's the full card. Our first clarifier that comes out with the devil at the bottom of the deck. This thing's got heavy major arcana on this one here. So you've held on to a lot of hope to work and manifest this new beginning to the point that you're focusing on it. And somebody I hear has got that red dress that makes everybody tick. There's the five of pentacles here. So yeah, everyone kept missing things up. Everybody else worried about themselves, not about you. But you held on to that hope for this one to stick to the original plan. And it left a mindset behind that 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 like precedes you ace of wands this literally comes back up and as i feel the heat warm up it's like something here overcome the anxiety has to happen and the confidence coming out makes you look feel and act more into it and that is making you attractive it's straight up to so the confidence always appealing with the seven no eight i gotta count nine pentacles i gotta learn to speak roman again see one pentacle away with that fool card to come in on this one and you can even couple it this is earth and fire energy 
similar to like Jupiter retrograding in Taurus to come in with the assist to bring in what you want, desire, and need to have right there. So that Ace of Wands, Aries to the Nine Pentacles on Temperance is that thing to go forward. So this person's willing to put in the effort with you. And like, you need not worry on this one. Look at all the Pentacles, how stable it is. Prince of Cups, Cancer Energy with Scorpio and uh, Pisces as well on this one. That it's, it's a little smaller. It's cuter and fun, you know, where you guys might enjoy some time together. But it's grounded and stable. That stuff from the past is focused on. And they're straight up. They're obsessed on this one here. Um, it's making you find that way. This is like the era of users ending. Prayers being answered. The players' the mentalities are gone. Someone has cleared out an energetical mindset. Seven Cups. And cleared out those options with the Page of Cups. You cut out a mindset to bring back. Because whatever it was they said or did to you. Got you to a point that you kind of disconnected from your childish ways and 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 started working on on yourself to mature and level up nine of swords gemini energy so yeah up in your feels all night playing staring at the ceiling on repeat while staring at the ceiling trying to find those answers to the point that that somebody here got past those burdens to grow up stabilize and come to a point with the emperor energy to get their way and what they want coming back around heavy aries and Capricorn still a lot of major arcana too the energetical mindset of this continues to grow nine of swords to the emperor energy and the burdens of that growing up it's it's like as as a crab cancer energy expands in its shell until the shell finally cracks and the new shell the bigger crab is in it. it's like growing pains that you guys had to go through and they're really nine of swords on the seven of cups like they remember every freaking thing they put you through and with that freaking nine of swords they're worried about anything else here because like i see you willing to give it a shot because you've been kind of seeing or feeling like there's a maturity or something that changes here but i'm not pulling communication at the moment but however with that strength card you love them leo rules the heart chakra and we just ended leo season in a venus retrograde where i'm almost seeing somebody having a nine of swords moment going oh wow out of all those options the white jeep was the one like and that's like what gets you willing to 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 like proceed and go forward they're worrying they missed the boat you're thinking it might be worth taking a chance because you're obsessed about the happiness that comes in and look what's underneath that what made me pull it heavy leo on that capricorn with the ace of pentacles and that ace of pentacles with the king of swords underneath that shows the energetical monkey being lifted off your back and when we grab this here and we grab that nine of pentacles back where'd that go it's down here there it is there's your ten pentacles earth energy happening here and now to go that point this is clarity to see f like fair and just make decisions and to gather around and sit at that table there and and be the head of it you start talking and taking into account what you do what you don't want for each other and i hear that like one of you figured would never change wound up changing six of swords because they reflected on himself with the king of wands more aries energy another card from the beginning and it let them work on the time to come back around and this would be like not wanting to run from the connection anymore and re seeing what was there with the chariot that's another one that showed up in those in the, the kit reading cancer energy and i was mentioning that about a connection and you've got again heavy cardinal energy with aries leo aries and cancer you've got a lot of major arcana too leo aries sagittarius cancer capricorn i mean a lot scorpio's down there too you've got a lot of major arcana showing up here to make a lot of this stuff work out so this shows those major energy shifts and look how it looks almost like a weather front as i rearrange this a lot of y'all feel like you're in the eye of the hurricane but white jeep actually is starting to notice and feel some calm after the storm because they're making it to 10 pentacles so even with that every energy here it's like Someone that you never figured would change humbles themselves and this could be distance or something between the two you guys The spirit brings you guys together to heal the emperor drives the chariot So once you're in that ride check out the wheels you got the nine of wands that protects you That's like the shell so maybe even something about a car or a new car or there's a car you keep seeing of theirs There's what I'm seeing. Yeah, like oh, yeah My person used to drive this kind of car so-and-so and now I see nothing but that kind of car so-and-so well, I mean, granted, they did. Every car company makes a lot of all their cars, but there's something that always connects that car to it. And so, something about the vehicles tie you guys together. So, with that energy there, it's it's them changing and humbling as this big energy shift the eight portal brought them through, because 
there was a point that this humbling experience had to come in, the ego death, the arrogance had to go away, and these changes literally come in when you least expect it. It's an expect the unexpected, the thing you never thought would happen, like, whoa, wait, hold on, maybe it's happening. And they love the heck out of you on this one here. So it causes you to look at things from a different perspective and to like see with that chariot energy to temperance that you're on the right path. It's a balanced path. It's a smooth, freshly paved new road, not the old dirt roads of the day. And you're like driving down and being like, oh yeah, man, this new road is like totally cool. I dig it, right? So that major arcana that shows manifesting a whole new start here. And I, for some reason, I'm pulling lilies and peaches. I mean, do things that mean something, something, something about them Georgia peaches or peach cobbler. I don't know, talking about that, but it resonates. So this new... This lily thing, as you're manifesting a new start, is the justice. Somebody about the flowers or the lilies. Four of swords to the four, four of swords to the four of cups. No way. Check that out. Four four could be a connection that ties you guys together to that four of wands. So, and these things laid right over that fool card, saying that four four is a sign showing you the spirit, saying take a chance because justice is coming your way, and the outcome is two of cups. Holy crap! A whole total meant to be energy that comes in. All right, that's cool. So this new start here, like this is the person that makes you feel supported and like confident. They're like your cheerleader, your rock. As I say it here, it comes out here and look who's back the star. These cards have all been showing up in the frickin' in these two readings too. This could be just another form of a complete collective. You may want to watch all three. They might hit for different placements. Because the star card's been doing wild things here, right there with the lovers. As I'm talking about making that choice, it's like, all right, let's put this plan together and make it happen. All these heavy major arcanas are showing that energetical shift as you go in through September. So it's like where where you are now with that chariot might be further from where you were then, but further where you're going to be later on. And wanting to close that distance here. Four of Swords. Wait, did I put those back? I'm going to double check myself. No, I did move it because it's the Four of Swords back with the eight of wands that has been coming back too. another eight, eight connection, closing the landscape portal and the energy with that four of swords showing that what you guys dream is, is there and missing them and wishing they were here is the wish that manifests you guys back together with that chariot energy for a complete point with six of wands straight up freaking victory right there, standing on stage, giving a standing ovation and coming to a point of completion where you know the next is the seven of wands protection, the eight of wands communication, the nine of wands more protection, and the ten of wands go in the distance. So six of wands victory shows that you're there with the knight of swords. It's goose showing up. We got that flyby maverick and take it from there. So your six of wands victory shows that the white jeep was an awesome choice, which ties that awesome choice to that awesome choice. And um, hopefully that uh, might help. Maybe you guys are even checking each other's out or something. Like you got like social media, Instagram or something going on. Didn't pull page of swords. And Knight of Swords shows me that quick checkout. High Priestess. We had to get one more card. Total snooping. You're not telling him. We're not telling you. We're not telling nobody. They secretly really freaking want you. Okay? They just want that Six of Wands victory with you. All right. Appreciate you, White Chief. Love that like for me. Let me know who you're working with, what you're working with. Uh, leave some comments down below. And uh, let me know what's going on. All right, guys, appreciate you, YG. Thank you, guys, and thank you to every one of you. Um, I hope these resonated. Let me know which and every and all placements did. And, uh, yeah, love that like. Subscribe. Appreciate you all for being a part. We have made it to 17,000 strong and growing. And uh, set the bell to all notifications. I go live every Monday night at 8 p.m. for an all signs, for the Pisces. And then go ahead and check out my channel for your Zodiac monthlies and weeklies and base covers. Just page of swords all over the place, all right? And otherwise, I'll see you Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. And at the next ones, at the next weeklies, monthlies, and all the other stuff. Leave some comments, like, share, and be a part of the familia. All right, guys. Till next time, I will see you in the flip. Peace out, Archer. Yeah, cherry. Love you.